This is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing 6.5 from the Precalc book, uh, which is the trigonometric form of complex numbers. So uh, there are two formulae on page 451, right? So, so they're on page 451 in the textbook. Um, but I don't think that you really need to, to memorize uh, for our purposes in Precalc and Calc, but I think it's important that you be able to use a formula when it's presented to you, even if you don't necessarily have to commit it to memory. Uh, in this day and age with the internet uh, and all the resources that people have as they move on professionally in their careers there's just some things that don't make sense to memorize and this is probably one of those things so uh, there are two formulas so let's say we have two complex numbers we have z sub 1 and z sub 2 and for z sub 1 all of the parts I'm going to mention have have one subscripts so z sub 1 has an r sub 1 and a theta sub 1 in in place of the cosine and the sine and z sub 2 is the same situation but instead of an r sub 1 z sub 2 has an r sub 2 and a theta sub 2 right okay so if we want to multiply two complex num or two complex numbers that are written in trig form, it's actually pretty easy. What we do to multiply complex number one and complex number two is we multiply the r's, right, which would be the moduli, and then within the cosine and the sine, we do the sum of the arguments. So r1 times r2, and then in parentheses, cosine of the quantity q uh, theta1 plus theta2 plus i sine of the quantity theta pl 1 plus theta 2. Um, in my brain, this always kind of makes sense because uh, multiplication and addition sort of go together because they're the commutative operations, uh, whereas division and subtraction kind of go together because they're not commutative. That's how my brain works. So uh, so we have a z1 uh, and a z2. We multiply the r's. We sum the thetas inside the cosine and the sine. If we wanted to divide uh, z1 by z2, assuming that z2 is not 0, and that's important because uh, you can't divide by 0, I would do r1 divided by r2, and then in inside the cosine and the sine, instead of doing a sum, I would do subtraction at theta1 minus theta2, and again, that makes sense in my brain because z1 divided by z2 is not the same thing as z2 divided by z1. It's not commutative, so it makes sense that this operation is also not commutative. So um, we're going to walk through an example 5 where I give you two complex numbers, and we're just going to go ahead and do this uh, and see what happens. So, um, uh, yeah, so for E5, I give you Z1 is 12 times the quantity cosine of pi over 6 plus I sine of pi over 6, and in my Z2 is a 2 times the cosine of pi over 3 plus I sine of pi over 3. So um, let's go ahead and, and, and do this, right? So if I wanted to do part A, we're going to do Z1 times Z2. Well, Z1 times Z2, I'm going to multiply the R's, so that's going to be 12 times 2, right? Uh, and then I'm going to have cosine of, and I'm going to add pi over 6 plus pi over 3, right? Uh, plus i sine of, again, pi over 6 plus pi over 3, right? Um, so I noticed that pi over 3 is a 2 pi over 6, so really I'm getting a 3 pi over 6 in here, right? So I'm pretty sure what I get is a 24 times the cosine of 3 pi over 6 is a pi over 2 plus i sine of pi over 2. And I know that pi over 2 on my unit circle, right, pi over 2 is right here on my unit circle, and the cosine of pi over 2 is 0 and the sine is 1, so I end up just getting that this answer is a 24i. because, Or if you could write 0 plus 24i, that's fine, but, but that's it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with division, right? I'm going to erase at the top because I don't have a ton of space. Do the same thing with division. Again, you don't have to have this formula memorized. You just have to be able to use it. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to do z1 divided by z2, right? Uh, so when I do z1 divided by z2, I'm going to do 12 divided by 2. And then in my parentheses, cosine of the theta 1, which is the pi over 6, minus the theta 2, which is the pi over 3, plus i sine of that same quantity, pi over 6 minus pi over 3. So I should figure out what angle pi over 6 minus pi over 3 is, right? That's where I want to start. So, uh, so I realize that this is a pi over 6 minus a 2 pi over 6, so it looks to me like this comes out as a negative pi over 6. Well, that lives right here. It's the same spot as 11 pi over 6. So I'm going to get that this is a 6 times, at this spot, my cosine is a root 3 over 2, but my sine is a negative 1 half. So I'm going to get that this is a root 3 over 2 minus a 1 half i, right? So when I distribute, I get the answer to be 3 root 3, right, because the 6 will cancel with the 2, minus 3i. And that's my complex number that I get when I do z divided, uh, z1 by, divided by z2, right? So that's kind of the gist.